What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. We're experiencing some cooler weather now. We're moving into fall. Uh, we should start embracing the cooler temperatures. Um, and that being said, it's time to start shedding and exfoliating our summer skin and start busting out our heavier, uh, more moisturizing products because our skin's gonna be getting a lot less moisture from the drier climates and the drier, drier, drier air. So, I got something really exciting in the mail on Friday, and it is, da 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 da, the new Augustina Spotter Exfoliating Toner Essence. So, this is what the box looks like. All of their packaging is very simple. It's very pretty. It's simple let yet luxurious, and this packaging is made from uh, post-consumer recycled mixed materials, um, so that's great. Augustina Spotter uh, tries to create their products and packaging, um, keeping an environmentally conscious approach to things, so I do appreciate that within that company. Um, so that's what the box looks like. Inside you will see, obviously, this beautiful packaging with their signature copper or rose gold, whatever you want to call it. Um, top, and then this pretty blue bottle. Uh, this is glass, so it's fully 100% recyclable, so once you're done with it, you can toss it in your recycle bin, call it a day. Uh, and, so this is 100 milliliters that you will get for $85, uh, which I think is a great price point, especially when this is a multitasking product. Um, it's very... It's like a thick water consistency. I'm gonna try to get this in here as best as I can. So it's just like a really thick water. It has a nice natural aroma to it. It smells really, really good. And like I said, I got this on Friday night, so I used it Friday evening, I used it Saturday morning, Saturday night, I used it this morning, which, by the way, today is Sunday, um, and I will be using it again tonight. So, let's go over the ingredients, let's go over what the website says, and then I'll get into what my thoughts about this product are after using it for a couple nights, or a couple days and a couple nights. So like I said, you get 100 milliliters for $85. Again, I think it's an amazing price point for a luxury brand to have in essence, per se, compared to other ones. So on the website, what is their exfoliating toner essence? It's a multitasking and fast absorbing essence that streamlines all your post cleanse needs in one smart formula for a clearer, revitalized, radiant complexion. And I will agree with that and we'll jump, we'll jump to that later. So this purifies and tones, gently dissolving and removing impurities while enhancing the skin's ability to attract and retain moisture. It gently exfoliates dead skin cells, revealing smooth, supple, healthier skin. Decongest pores and regulate sebum secretion for a balanced and glowing complexion. Visibly reduce discoloration, soothes, re soothes redness, and visibly improves skin's overall tone and texture. TFC8 supports cellular renewal, boosts performance of overall formulation, and preps the skin for better absorption of subsequent products. Hydroxy acids and high-potency botanicals, such as white peony, peony flower and wasabi ferment, nourish, soothe, hydrate, and protect the skin from against environmental aggressors. Refreshing, lightweight texture, non-pore clogging, fragrance-free, and suitable for all skin types. Um, and I just want to touch base on where they say it's fragrance-free. Um, all of their products are free of artificial fragrance and things like that in, in, in synthetic fragrances. Um, that is not something they put in their products, which I do appreciate because it really serves no purpose within skincare. We all know that. Um, some people are allergic. They're more sensitive to fragrance. Um, I am not one of those people, but if I can find a product that doesn't have it, 
that's that's great to me. Um, am I hell bent on avoiding products without fragrance? No. Um, I can take it or leave it, but if I can find something, like I said, without fragrance, then I would definitely prefer that. So all of these things uh, definitely, I feel, hold true. I mean, with <laughs> only being able to use it for a couple days. Um, I just also want to go over the ingredients with you real quick. Uh, we TFC8, which is a proprietary ingredient that is found in every single one of their products. We know that TFC8 helps, it's basically, it will boost your skin cells to do exactly what they're supposed to do, helping to fight discoloration, helping to fight and reverse aging, helping with fine lines and wrinkles, helping uh, with your skin cell turnover, helping with the clarity and brightness of your skin. TFC8 is like basically, it's like a miracle code for your skin cells and it's gonna, each person, it's gonna do whatever it needs to do to make your skin to its healthiest core. Okay, so TFC8 is a complex of natural amino acids, high-grade vitamins and synthesized molecules naturally found in the skin, which guides the key nutrients and powerful natural ingredients to the skin cells, creating an optimal environment for the body's innate process of repair and renewal. So basically, TFC8 is good for anybody and everybody's skin. It contains phytic acid, which gently uh, is a natural exfoliator, and it's derived from rice grains. It promotes cellular turnover and boosts collagen production for even skin tone and less noticeable fine lines. It also contains salicylic acid, which is a powerful and soothing beta-hydroxy acid derived from willow bark. It delivers key essential keratolytic benefits, uh, reduces your redness, addresses imperfections, and boosts the skin's clarity. Gluconolactone, which is highly beneficial to the skin, it uh, is a naturally derived polyhydroxy acid, which optimizes the skin renewal by gently lifting away dead skin cells to reveal soft, fresh, and luminous complexion. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which um, is a polysaccharide natural, naturally produced by the body. We all know that. Um, it's exceptionally effective in attracting and training moisture for plump, fresh, well-hydrated skin. We know what hyaluronic acid does. We know that it can, it can hold a thousand times its weight in water. Um, basically with hyaluronic acid, we know that it's basically attracting moisture from the air, but it's also pulling water from your deeper layers of skin to plump up the surface layer of your skin. So a side note, if you live in a humid climate, hyaluronic acid is gonna be perfect for you. It's gonna be amazing. However, if you live in a drier climate, Hyaluronic acid could work against you if you're not using uh, an occlusive hydrating moisturizer over top. The reason being said is if you're in a dry climate and you're not putting something occlusive over top of your, your HA, uh, you're basically pulling all of your water from your deeper layers. It's coming to the top of your skin and it's going to quickly evaporate because there's no moisture being attracted to it anymore. So if you're in a drier climate, you must, must use something that is gonna be a little bit heavier and more occlusive um, over top of your HA in order to root the benefits. Otherwise, it may be working against you. It, so this product also contains wasabi ferment, which is a skin superfood delivering potent antioxidant protection, safeguards the complexion by helping to defend against free radical damage. It also contains a white peony flower, which is a potent botanical extract Soothes, soothes the skin and prevents visible signs of aging while defending the complexion from pollution and environmental aggressors. So those are the bulk, their, their key star ingredients. Um, one thing that I noticed on one of the Augustinus Botter um, social media accounts, I think it was on, on their Facebook account, uh, somebody had asked why Papain was added to it when it could cause severe allergic reactions to the skin. Um, and here's what I found to that, in which I also responded to that comment, because papain is a, it's a natural ingredient, and there's a difference between a processed papain and raw papain. Now, papain in itself is derived from papaya. It's, uh, it, I, I believe it's an enzyme, and it is used for its antiviral properties. It's used for inflammation, so it helps with anti-inflammation. Um, it is used medicinally even. It's used in a lot of things. So 
Papain is not a bad ingredient. So I don't know where this person got that from unless they were just looking at the ingredient list and Google searched something, but raw papain is known to cause irritation and blisters. However, this product does not contain raw papain, so that is something to note. Um, however, papain is something that can cause an allergic reaction if you are allergic to fig and you're allergic to kiwi fruit. Um, I've never met anyone allergic to those two things, uh, but if you are allergic to kiwi or fig, uh, this is something that you may want to patch test before you use it because it does contain papain. Uh, papain applied topically can treat wounds, sores, antibiotics, um, and it's also an anti, it's a known anti-inflammatory. So, like I said, it's not a bad ingredient, and this is also actually considered a safe ingredient to use in skincare, especially for its anti-inflammatory properties, which is why it was added to this formula. So that's all I got with the ingredients. Um, so those are the key star ingredients. I think it's a great list of ingredients. Um, and this is, like we said, this is going to basically take off all your dead skin cells um, from the day. It's gonna do it gently. It's a great step after your cleansing um, to help remove any leftover soap, debris, whatever you may have you. Um, what I've noticed immediately is that I personally do not like to use products that are chemical exfoliants that are leave-on products. For me, uh, I just find it's a little too sensitizing and things like that, so I usually steer clear of those and I'll stick to my manual exfoliators or enzyme exfoliators. Um, that being said, this product has not caused any irritation to my skin. Also, you usually want to separate your acids and your tretinoins uh, and use them not in the same routine. So, you know, Retin-A, tretinoin, it's always used in the evening. So if you're using that in the evening, you want to stick to your acid products during the day. So I just wanted to test it out and I did use it in the evening, since it does contain salicylic acid and some polyhydroxy acids, um, to see if it would cause any additional irritation. Um, I'm not concerned about the tretinoin and the acids um, canceling each other out, making them ineffective. I don't believe that's going to happen because I don't think there's enough of that in there to do so. Uh, but that being said, I didn't experience any type of irritation and I've been using this for the past couple days. I'm using it at night. And this is a product that goes all right onto your skin after cleansing. It absorbs to your skin extremely fast. But that, even though it's absorbed into your skin quickly, it's still left very hydrated. And I'm not kidding. This will leave such a glow on your skin. It is so wild. And I don't know if it's because of the ingredients in there. I don't know if it's because... It like instantly dissolves your skin cells. I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> um, the product itself, I think, is amazing. So all I have on my face is sunscreen. I was at the park earlier walking my dog, and I just have some sunscreen on my face. So I'm currently using the entire Augustinus Botter um, line on my face. So I use the cleanser. I'm now using the exfoliating toner essence. I am using the cream during the day with a little bit of the facial oil mixed in. I am using the rich cream sometimes in the evening, um, also sometimes with the facial oil mixed in, or sometimes I'll use the facial oil by itself in the evening, pr either pre or post my tretinoin application. Just depends on what my skin needs and how I feel. But I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with uh, the exfoliating toner essence. I, I'm excited to keep using it because I've not experienced something like this. If you wanted to compare it to something, um, consistency-wise, I would compare it to La Mer's The Treatment Lotion. Um, if you're putting the two side by side, the La Mer Treatment Lotion, I would say is a little bit, like, almost not even noticeable, but it is a little bit thicker. But also the La Mer Treatment Lotion, I wanna say, I would consider it to be more hydrating than what this is, and but that's not to say that this one is not hydrating. This is definitely hydrating. The La Mer Treatment Lotion, I would consider to be slightly more hydrating only because it doesn't absorb into the skin as quick as what this does. 
Um, and then this also has other benefits of, you know, helping with skin cell turnover. It has the TFC-8 in it. It is exfoliating your skin. Um, so you're getting more benefits in this one product than you would, let's say, the treatment lotion from La Mer. However, I have both in my cabinet. I love them. And as you know, I do love La Mer. I'm a big La Mer devotee. But I also am really into the Augustinus Botter line. I've never used any of the body care. Uh, I don't honestly use really any body care for myself because all my money goes on my face, right? Um, so yeah, so two days, three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so just a couple days use of using this product. Um, I do love it. I am sold on it. I will continue to use it. And you know, you'll, you'll see me with some more updates in my routine probably sometime soon. I will be doing, I know I keep saying it, a review on the cleanser. I will probably do that maybe sometime tomorrow. Um, I have another video that I'm probably going to do some threads. So I may end up doing some filming of doing some either PDO or PLLA threads. I'm not sure yet what, but um, I'll probably do a video of threads. If that's something you want to see, leave a comment in the descriptions below. Um, I think that's all I got for you. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. If you've used the tea, if you've used the exfoliating toner, let me know what, how you feel about it below. Um, if you haven't, I can't wait for you to experience it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay well, stay healthy, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.